In the five last completed seasons in college softball, there have been three champions, OU and these two teams. It's a top 20 matchup between number five Florida State and 20th ranked UCLA. Happy to have you with us on this Friday along. Up to middle, base hit. Jedi curve. Hitting 500 on the year to start the year. And that's the pitch that Taylor Tinsley needs to ball. Back to the circle, knocked down by Tinsley. She'll take the out at first. Kerr is able to advance the 60 feet. She's in scoring position with one out. 20, including three home runs. Belts it down the left field side, just fair. Into the corner, Kerr trots home. Harding replaces her at second base. A little RBI double, her third double. 12th run batted in, one nothing. All of these balls have been hard hit. Another pitch that is a changeup, actually. Yep, but left more out of the plate. Didn't fool Harding as much as it should. You could tell she was slightly out in front, but really still got behind it. She hit that ball hard down the line. It stays fair, and Florida State scores first. Hard ground ball up the right center alley. Harding scoring. Beecham's eighth RBI. And four batters into the game. Florida State has scored twice. Long time she's come to camp. She's been a fan of this program. And now here she is as a freshman hitting in the four hole RBI situation. Not phased whatsoever. Is going to go up against a legacy program like UCLA and just put that ball out on the green to score the second run of the game for Shin. Focused eye at the plate. Liner caught. Woolery steps on. Double play ends the inning with an extremely loud out double play. And UCLA is able to escape, allowing just made the Women's College World Series. She firmly believed that Maya would have been selected National Player of the Year. A little check swing back to the circle. Danley throws out Brady. Like even that Maya Brady check swing on the changeup, soft roller back to Danley. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. The play Polar reacted. Woolery off to a 2 4 11 start. Reaches for it and is able to pull it through the left side. Base hit for Woolery. And now the Bruins have two on with one out. And look, that, that wasn't pretty. Got jam, pulls it right side, off the glove of Ross. Flaherty throwing back behind Pola at third. Two for 10 start this year for Palacios. Got fooled and strikes out. First strikeout for Ashton Danley. Back to off speed and back to back K's with the big. Tinsley records her first strikeout to begin the second. Bills for the fans is so cool. Popped up on the infield. Pola wants it. Savi makes the catch, two outs. Well, this field, field nine and field eight next to us were the only. The LSU Northwestern game is SEC Network. Minnesota watching the game on ESPN Plus. Out to short, Maya Brady. Nope. mentioned that Danley's a two-way player and can swing it. She's batting in the ninth spot and grounds out to Tessa Malaulu. Two in the court. Stevens out to second base and Devin Flaherty. I, I played in the prehistoric area. But <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to go there, Lefty. That's in the dirt. That's hilarious. We were all thinking that you said it. <laughs> the arm injury. Out into center field. Kerr, who was playing her to go to left center, ranges over to right center. And down in order go the Bruins. In the second, we played two. Kerr, who went off the game with a base hit and later scored. And that is Taylor Stevens down in foul ground in the left field corner. Coming up Sunday on ABC, the undefeated and top-ranked South Carolina. That they're playing next and the pitcher that they're playing next. Pitch. 
Tinsley does finish it with a strikeout, her second of the game. Well, and Michelle, you had made back a little, and it takes a little bit to settle in. Through the left side, and Harding is her second hit of the game. And swing it pretty good. <laughs> On the ground is second base, and Savi Polo with the underhand to Woolery. And Tinsley works around the two out. That could have easily been a four or five run in. Yeah. A five pitch walk to Brady. And for the first time today, UCLA has the leadoff batter aboard. What a take. That is a borderline strike call. But Solid a one two freshman combination you'd find. Hot shot, skips pass, Flaherty into right center. Brady races home. Pola coming to the plate. It's tied. A hot. And this ball is just torched on the outer half. Love the way that Wooler is gonna go get. This is one of her best swings of the year yet. She hits it so hard and typically Flaherty is so steady Eddie at that second base position, but and you can just see the emotion with Wool. UCLA has tied it here in the third, looking to take their first lead now, still with nobody out. Kicks off Edenfield far enough away that... She has to be a huge part of that. I mean, she just does. Even with showing patience to lead off innings, to find a way to get on, to set the tone for the offense for UCLA. It's about 80 innings pitched on the year. Ooh. Came in and I think got the Evo Shield arm guard. And Palacioso hit by pitch loads the bases. <laughs> Missed elevated again and a bases loaded walk. Forces in the go ahead run. His hatch crosses the plate. Saw Mimi Gooden getting stretched. Four pitch walk to Stevens. That's back to back bases loaded walks. And right now, Florida State is gift wrapping the runs for the Bruins. And another 3 2 pitch. <laughs> and there's strike three. In the high outside corner. And Allison Royalty has to be thinking, I got. Towards second, caught, double play, ends the inning. Flaherty on a sinking soft liner. 10, that's gonna completely change the landscape of the game. Slowly hit, Savi Pola, close, but gets Flaherty. It's gonna be a new world next year. Yeah, it's gonna feel so different to not have. Enfield drives it deep center field and over the wall for a home run. Her second of the season Enfield. makes it a one run game. Well, so this is interesting because on a change up. So three and one change up. Edenfield starts to leave thinking she's struck out. Come back with another change up. What does Edenfield do? Boom, blast it out of the park. And she's like, I don't want to feel that again. I don't want to strike out again, at least in my head. The feeling of striking out. I'm going to make up for it right here. That's right. And it is back to back. Hallie Waycaser. Her first of the year. Wow. And on the last two pitches, home runs and it's time. And the sound off the bat. It's just so sweet. The crack of the bagging on the Tinsley changeup. That wasn't it. The infield one was. This one wasn't trying to get up and in her hands, but she's just on time for it. Mm. Almost looked like it hit the knob of the bat as well, but apparently. Five, tied at four. Coach I has had her say, and Kaylee Budge comes off the bench. There goes Ross. 
Mudge hits it up the middle and into center field. Ross to the plate, throw coming home, and just a tad late from Alchin. Mudge off the bench, gives Florida State back the lead at five to four. Trying to get Mudge 100%, but when you have a senior leader like this come off the bench and just take a pitch on the upper half outside and drive it right back up the middle with the speed of Amaya Ross, easily gonna score from second base. And the Knowles now have the lead back five to four. Such a weapon to have somebody like her with the experience she has coming off the bench. First pitch swinging, lined to right, making Grant climbs the ladder to make the catch. Kerr absolutely. And another line drive, this one. Tessa Mala Ulu, so a couple of loud outs to end the inning. <laughs> oh my goodness, we've had a 12-10 game, a 12-12 game. It's jammed and pulls it to first. It's a big out. Ross just takes it right to the bag. And they continue to take advantage of these opportunities and maybe be the one of the staff. Driven deep to right field, off the scoreboard. Savannah Pola. And now we're tied again <laughs> at five. She is not exactly your huge home run source, but this ball was blasted off the scoreboard. Yeah, only the third home run of the season for UCLA, and no doubter off of her bat. And she was quick to that inside corner, but what I loved was just the overall excitement and energy from the UCLA dugout. There were so happy for her. Hits the scoreboard. And Savi Pola ties up this game. But the number of players that have come through here, you know they can swing it. Pulled out to short, came up and hit Torres in the chest. Still would have had her out, but Ross was able, unable to catch the throw. It's ear back behind the plate. It's driven to the gap in right center field and hits at the base of the wall. Woolery to third, Grant to second. You're gonna bring a left-handed bat to the plate. Okay, to force out and back too. To first, knock down, race to the bag, out. Ross was able to come up with it after it initially kicked off her glove. It's going to score a run, but Flaherty was able to get there. And... and ball four loads him up. He named pitchers last year. That is the third time today Florida State has had a bases loaded walk. Ground ball to short, another weird hop pass. Torres brings in one. Palacios, safe! And Stevens who comes in as the second runner after Palacios also came in. And Tessa Malo Ulu. A bad hop base hit into left center to score two. This ball is just tattooed. She's looking down. She goes down and get it, hits it very hard. And Torres, not a lot she can do with that. It takes a hop up over a glove. Good throw in from Kerr out in center field, but a lot of speed on the bases for UCLA. And they put a couple more runs up on the board, expand their lead to four now here. One, two pitch from Allison Royalty. Now Brady sends one deep center. And Gone. First of the year. All of a sudden, UCLA has 12 runs on the board. That was an off speed pitch, a change up. She sits back on it, recognizes it. 
and hits it well over the center field wall, grabs the Jolly Rancher from Kirk Walker as the UCLA tradition stands and heads home. UCLA starting to feel much better at the plate and goes to do damage. Bull is on base for a fourth time and the second time in the inning. The third invitation presented by Evo Shield. We are in the bottom of the fourth. UCLA leading 12-5. They've scored eight runs in this inning and another base hit comes from Jordan Woolery. The Tennessee Stanford game you may be looking for here on ESPN2 is going to start a little. Where UCLA has just really put it on Florida State here with taking advantage of walks and a couple of home runs they've hit in the center. They get Grant, the 13th batter in the inning, flies to deep center, and Kerr makes the catch. Well, it took over for Taylor Tinsley. Bouncy ball up the middle, diving attempt by Polo, but it's in the right center. Harding is three for three. And that's the reason that they've got the lead right now. To short off Maya Brady's glove and into center field, Maya going to her left. Trying to corral that hot. A couple of those errors, a couple of plays potentially they make. It's going to kick off Palacios and each runner will advance. Well, and there's pitch. somehow just one error on the board. Yeah. Four pitch walk. And now it's the Seminoles that have the bases loaded. I think I jinxed them because I was just. a great eye and you know who knows the strike zone Absolutely. Michaela Edenfield she saw all those walks all those pitches knocked by pitch in this game huh yeah back to back bases Lord of walks in this game really it's been in my opinion categorized by a lot of pitchers who throw up in the shovel to second for one the first safe and a run score that brings in Flaherty Up high, runner heading for second. The throw is not in time, and that's going to allow Ed Field to come in for third base. Double steal. Well, it's interesting throwing all the way through and the way that the defense throw was elevated. And much strikes out. Well, it, because they're splitting the zone, to be very honest. They don't have to look above the belt because they know it's a ball, and that's the easiest way to hit. Line to first. Woolery makes the catch. That ends the inning, but eight bad. Field eight. We're at field nine. That ball is through the left side. Base hit. Palacios on. It's the, the pitching part that... We'll see if they get figured out by the time conference play comes. Right field, snagged by Harding, throw to first, double play. Great job by Kaylee Harding out in right field. Bueno now at first base for Virginia Tech. Hit her in the foot. Last year hit 330 for the Bruins. Strike three in the inning. A Rachel Garcia, a Megan Farimo, a Brooke Yanez. First pitch swinging. Base hit for Issa Torres. And a base hit for Issa Torres to begin the top of the sixth. Sixth. Coming up on 30 pitches. That's two pitches, two base hits, dumped into right. Torres takes the turn, it goes to third. Kaylee Harding has her fourth. Beecham grounds it towards the hole. And Brady, who was pulled towards the middle, can't come up with it with a dive. And Torres scores to make it 12 to 10.
Oh, Flaherty started to swing, stopped as that ball ran right in on her and got some of the left hand. And then takes strike three. Hot shot, Brady out at second, double play! Called high for ball four and a five pitch walk to a score or give up 13. We'll score 14. Blasted towards deep center, and all Kirk can do is watch it sail over the palm trees. Second over of the game for Brady, or second of the season, or second and back to back at bats. He's not driven in five today. Now Maya Brady just getting a pitch on the outside corner. It's slightly elevated. She just goes and gets it and drives it. And Maya Brady was in the running top three for USA Softball National Player of the Year. A little bit of a slow start last weekend, but absolutely kicking it in the form. And I really feel like this season for UCLA goes as Maya Brady goes. And the double play, the two home runs in this game. Starting to see things turn around here for the Bruins. Seventh career multi-homer game for Maya Brady. Towering pop-up on the infield. Torres wanting it. Almost no coned out, but she makes the catch. Ball is hit to left towards the corner, and it's going to drop right at the base of the fence. And Grants at second with her third hit of the game. Got it on the hands and the pop-up. He's caught by Bueno. Last chance. And played Georgia right after this too, so. Little flare out to left, drops in. And the speed of Ross puts her at second base to begin the inning. Her second hit today. Big 3-2 pitch to Katie Dak. And a delayed strike three call. I don't think she knows yet that she's been called out. Now she does. Got a lot of pop. <laughs> Torres got under it. Stevens went back initially. Now comes in and can't get to it. But a throw to third. Not in time. They had the force out there. Let's see if this is going to stay in play, and it looks like it will near the third base coach's box. Ala Ulu makes the play. And a big say. One two from Taylor Tinsley. Chopped to third. There's a force out there, and the game is over. And for the first time in just over 15 years, UCLA wins a game when they give up 10 or more runs as they outlast the Seminoles 14-10. Great job by UCLA to hang in there. They'd had issues scoring runs earlier this season, but obviously not today. Looks like they're going to have to find a different way to win games and maybe look a lot like this as the season goes on. Ladies, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much. Thanks for Michelle, Michelle Smith. for joining us. Amanda Scarborough, I'm Mark Neely. Thanks for sharing this one with us. UCLA wins it 14-10 over the Seminoles. And so long for now from Clearwater.